In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the binomial PD and binomial CD functions on your calculator. OK, so let's say we want to uh, find each of these probabilities using the binomial distribution with n is 30 and p is 0.35. So probability of x being equal to 9. This is the only one of these where I'm going to use binomial PD because PD finds a particular value. So go to menu and then you need to scroll to number 7 distribution and binomial pd is the one we want so option number four now for each of these i'm just going to use the variable so number two and that means we just find a particular value that we want to use what we want to find so the x value here is nine n is 30 and p is 0 0.35 press equals and this is what we want to find so we want to write these to four decimal places well, our final answer is to four decimal places, so 0 0.1328 to four decimal places. Aim to never uh, drop that level of accuracy. OK. Now, the next one is probably of x being less than or equal to eight. Now, the calculator has, if I go back to menu, then number seven and scroll down to binomial CD. OK, this option, CD finds you less than or equals to only that so in variable if i then type in eight here what this is going to find me is the probability of x being less than or equal to eight when i'm in cd press equals so 0.22469 so 0.22472 four decimal places now the next one is probability of x being less than 10 your calculator does not find you less than. It finds you less than or equals to. So you need to know that less than 10 means from 0 up to 9, which is the probability of x being less than or equal to 9. So you need to be able to convert it into less than or equals to. So on my calculator, I'm just going to change x now for 9. And four decimal places is 0 0.3575 to four decimal places. Now the next one is probably of x being greater than or equal to seven. Now again, we cannot find that directly on our calculator. So this is telling me that I want seven and above. I do not want zero to six. So I want to subtract zero to six, so less than or equal to six, from one. Okay, so I'm going to go and change the x now to 6, press equals again, and we want to do one take away this. Now, unfortunately, the calculator cannot save this value and then we type it. So I'm going to do one take away and I'm going to write down the calculator display. So 0 0.0585721118. And then uh, the neat way of uh, subtracting a number like this from 1 is to just add up, add on the values that would make it up to 0 0.9 recurring. So to get from zero to nine, I've got to add on nine. Five to nine is add on four. Then eight to nine, I need to add on one. Then I need to add on four. Then I need to add on two, uh, etc. And you can see that this will round to 0 0.9414. Two four decimal places. So I didn't actually need to go out of the calculator mode to get there. OK, so there is a quicker way of doing it. So we're going to get another example here. So probably of x being greater than 12, that's 13 and above. So I don't want 0 to 12. So that's one take away less than or equal to 12. So press equals, change the x to 12. Press equals. And we've got one takeaway, 0 0.78020722292. And I'm going to use the same trick. So 0 point adding up to nines. So uh, nine recurring. So seven to nine is two, then one, then nine, then seven. Uh, the next one is going to be nine. OK. And so rounding to four decimal places, this has been 0 0.2198. To four decimal places. 
Okay, so that's how we can use the binomial PD and binomial CD function. And hopefully you know now know um, how to use those.